Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. So guys, today's going to be a video, I'm going to show you mostly some foods that I'm totally obsessed with at the Dollar Tree. There is one that I didn't like, so it's kind of a review. And But let's start off with these because these are what I have on my hands right now, as you can see. And it is the Kiss Press On Nails. Okay, and let me just give you a close up of how they look. Okay, my hands aren't the greatest, obviously. Um, and I really, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I don't care. But anyway, um, I may have put, I made a mistake the last time and I put like a big one in the middle. I started off with this one. And then as you can see, the other middle finger doesn't look that way. So as you can see, they look really, really good. And I thought I'd put the orange ones on. I have another pair that's pink and blue. But these are so easy to put on, guys. I'll show you how they work, okay? I probably should have, yeah, well, I didn't, but I should, probably should have, you know, showed you and then put one on. But I can't get them off right now because they're on there really, really good. But I don't know if you can see that there's, like, this little thing right there. See it? And then all you do is you peel it down, and then it comes off, and then you just press it and hold it like really quick and it sticks so guys i am obsessed with these okay for a dollar 25 can you believe it and i know they're still there because i got some recently and these are from a few months ago so the kiss press on nails and as you can see they look really good okay so let me go ahead and i'm going to move on to the food okay some of the stuff I have showed you before, but this is, everything is empty, okay? And I got this, and I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it, and I actually really, really liked it, okay? So, um, the chicken nuggets and the fries, and it was really, really good, and it was so easy to just pop into the microwave, but I gave my microwave to my daughter, and I had another one of these left over, and I'm like, how am I going to make this? So I kind of put it in like a Dutch oven type of situation. You know, I put it on top of the stove in a frying pan with a cover on it. I did put some oil in the bottom of the pan, and I put it on really, really low, and I let it heat up, and it heated up perfectly. I didn't have to have an, um, a microwave oven for it. You could also put it in the regular oven, but I didn't want to because it was kind of hot. So anyway, guys, these are actually really, really good. I am totally, I'm getting these again. I'm totally obsessed. Okay, so I ended up getting these mini apple pies. I am totally obsessed with these. Okay, guys, they are so good. Okay, so you get three in a pack, and they're a little bit like gel, jelly-like, but they're not like too much of jelly-like, so you wouldn't like them. Okay, so these are a definite, I will buy these again, and every single thing that I'm showing you, by the way, I don't know if I said this or not, is um, natural, because see how this says 100% natural, uh, breast with rib meat, okay, and there's no artificial flavors in this because I checked and there's no artificial flavors in this Pretty much everything I show you is gonna be no artificial flavors Okay, these guys are so so good. All right. I would buy these and eat these every day of my life if I could They are so so good But you know how after you get sick of things for a while like when I was my first job was at Burger King and I love Burger King Don't get me wrong but after you work at Burger King for a couple of months and that's all you have, you know, you get you get sick of it, right? So, but I could like never say that now. I love Burger King. But anyway, um, so chicken pot stickers, like I said, but after a while, you know, I mean, you want to take a break. But I was like totally obsessed with these for a while. But they are so delicious, okay? So I'll have them like once a week. I'll buy them, you know in bulk and buy them like once and have them like once a week and i'll show you what i do with these because i was on a really really low low spend budget for um this month because i spent so much money when i went to the jersey shore that i kind of went into my um you know my money for my um i usually have like a budget for food so what i was doing it was kind of like by accident but you can put some of this in there. You can put it, cook it in the microwave or you can put half of it. Like, say, this is what I was doing, okay? So I was, you know, cooking the pot stickers in the pan a little bit, browning them up a little bit. Then I threw a half. I opened this bag up and then I just kind of broke off half and put it in with on the frying pan. And then I put this half of this in the frying pan. I don't know. I just It came to my head and it was like really, really good. Okay, you can add like some maybe frozen peas to it, whatever you want. But this combination right here, 
like if you're trying to stay on a budget and I only use there's nine pot stickers come in here and so I did like four you know a five in the pan half of this half of this and then the next day you can have it again because you still have half of everything left okay so this is also really good okay so anyway that's what I've been buying and kind of eating I've been getting a little bit like addicted to it I'm probably gonna get sick of it eventually but right now I love this combination right here it's so good guys you probably heard me say this already a dozen maybe a thousand times but these potatoes are so good and again like I said everything I'm showing you has no artificial flavors in it okay so you don't have like that weird feeling after you eat stuff like you know that with the artificial flavors so I always load up on these too and then I'll have like again I'm trying to like stick to a good eating plan and I'm also trying to stick to a budget so there is like six in here and um so what I do is I'll, I'll like fry up three because it's got like little bacons in it I'll fry up three and then I'll have an egg or two eggs I'm trying to like be real budget friendly with my money for the food stretch my food but also eat good too you know and eat cheap but these are so delicious i want to eat cheap but i want to eat healthy i don't want to eat like you know artificial stuff okay and we go through a lot of these around here um as you can see by the fact that they're empty um they're a big favorite okay so these are really really loved um i want to say that this is the this is the backyard barbecue or well, the backyard cookout flavor which is a big hit and um, the Surfer's Delight, which is like a really, really good big hit too. Okay, this was a really, really good, um, I like the way this um, tastes. There's another one, the green beans, I wasn't too thrilled with. The green beans, they didn't seem to get soft enough for me. The ones that are only the green beans in the bag, maybe I didn't cook them long enough, I don't know. But I what I did was I also used some of them chicken pot stickers and I threw some of this in and the other half of the bag of rice if you don't want to do it the way I originally told you to do it because I tried it this way too and um, then I put some like soy sauce on it that I also got at the Dollar Tree but that's not empty yet I'm mostly just showing you my empties and then usually I'll grab something like a little snack when I'm in there if I know I'm not going to go home right away and these are really good and the, a lot comes in here You'd be surprised. It, it really fills you up. Sometimes I'll eat like just half a bag and then the next day I'll have the other half bag. And it's not even that big because it's just a little bag. As you can see, I'll show you through this. But um, it kind of fills you up just halfway, you know, the halfway bag. Okay, guys, I love these. Okay, as you can see, I'm almost empty. But I got another one. Um, I'll show you right here how I got the other one, right? Because I just found some more the other day. I was so glad to because I was like, you know, I'm not ready to pay full price for these in the stores, okay? But they are so good. But there is one thing that I did notice about, I'm not sure if this is the one that's doing it to me, but I feel like I get a little bit constipated when I eat it the way it says to eat it. And I would not be telling you that if somebody else did not tell me the same exact thing about these gummies okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to do it once a day because when i was doing it according to this you can have i want to say um three gummies a day it says uh, let me just get out of the shot for a minute it says take three gummies daily okay yeah so three gummies daily there is another one that is um uh, apple cider vinegar and there's another one that's like a, almost like a like a different color so again I'm trying to you know once I stop taking them three times a day I didn't feel constipated anymore so that's just a heads up on these I don't know if it's happened to you but it happened to me and it happened to another person that I know and then guys if you use bleach you got to get your bleach there okay only a dollar 25 i mean you can't beat that right i mean i don't go into the big stores so i don't price bleach so i don't know if maybe you can get that but this is actually a pretty good size thing of bleach okay um i'm gonna say that that's probably a gallon i mean i'm not good with that is that a gallon <laughs> <laughs> but anyway it seems like a gallon to me okay maybe it's not quite a gallon but anyway guys that is actually you know works regular bleach you know because i like to put the bleach down my drain um 
not maybe every night, but I do like to put the bleach down my drain in the kitchen, you know, um, after, because we have, you know, the garbage disposal, right? And then these, um, I want to say that these work just as good as the brand name, okay? You get a little bit more in here when you, you know, don't go for the brand name. And the zipper works great on them. They're perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. And um, from now on, I'm going to get these instead of the Glad because they work just as good. Okay, last but not least, I didn't like this, okay? It's called Risperim, Risperm, hmm, Risparmio, Risparmio, grated topping, okay, with Parmesan. Now, they did have some real Parmesan cheese. They're like totally Parmesan cheese only. It was a smaller version, um, but this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Somebody told me once, the more stuff that's in it, you can just count on not being that great, okay? But anyway, it doesn't have any artificial flavors. So I said, well, let me give it a try. And I didn't like it at all. Nothing. It didn't even taste like cheese. It was like you were putting white powder on your food, okay? But what I did think about is I like the fact that I can use this again. And I have the exact thing I'm going to use for it. I'm going to take, obviously, I'm going to wash it, right? And then these things that I got at the Dollar Tree, these um, rainbow little things, the sugar pearls. And believe it or not, these have absolutely no artificial flavors in them. I know that I say that a lot, but it might be important to somebody. It's very, very important to me because when I have artificial flavors, I always end up with a bad stomach ache, okay? But anyway... So these are uh, Bakersfield. The only reason I'm bringing these out is because I'm showing you that when I clean this out, you know how like when the kids come over and there's holidays or even not kids, adults, and you want to have like maybe ice cream sundaes, you can put like, you know, those, well, we call them jimmies around here, but you can put like jimmies on top of them by putting this in there, right? I can mix those colors. And then you can just sprinkle the jimmies in this case these are like little non parels so i wouldn't be calling these jimmies but you know um you can just sprinkle them right out how you know you don't have to go buy one right because you already bought it it's 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 awful okay <laughs> but save it but don't go buy it just for that you know but um if you have it or you have something similar to this when you're done with it wash it out and use it for the sprinkles so anyway guys that's it i hope you enjoyed it um, I just wanted to show you my empties. I've been holding on to them. Now I can throw them away. And um, it's my whatever Wednesday, so I usually do whatever I want on Wednesday. And I'm sticking with the theme of the month, and I'm doing the low buy or the no buy. And in this case, they were just all my empties that I already had. And uh, I was saving them for this occasion. So anyway, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.